can't see shit. I <laughs> can see a thumb. Barely. Do you want to open the vlog or do I open the vlog? It's you, it's your channel. So? I'm just the special guest. Guest. What's today? 12th? Saturday? Uh, yes. So today's Saturday, January 12th. I was about to say December, but it is January. And we are on our way to Texas Roadhouse for his birthday lunch. Not really dinner, because it's only three o'clock. So we're on our way to Roadhouse. He wanted Cattleman's, but he didn't want to drive that far today just because we're gonna go to, well, because we're gonna go to Top Golf later. So they're like in opposite directions and hella far in each direction. So another day we'll do that. If so. I put music, is it gonna mess it up? Huh? What the music is it gonna be? Is it gonna throw off the video? Mm, no. Shut The bass might. That's why I turned it down. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go eat, and my cousin and her boyfriend are gonna go eat with us. They're actually already there, they've been there for like 15 minutes already. Did they get a table? Huh? Did they get a table? I don't know. Or are they just sitting there like stupid? I don't know. No. Audrey, so I'm sure she got a table. But yeah. So we're gonna go eat. I'm <laughs> gonna And then go to Top Golf after. Because it should be about the time that we made our reservation. And then later his friend, I was gonna say friends, but his other friend is working. And just his friend and his girlfriend will be there with us. And then maybe my cousin and her boyfriend if they want to join us. trying to take these effing nails off since last night and he was even trying to help me with his knife and I'm not fond of knives guys and I was letting him but I have like one left on this hand and these what these four I only got the pinky off so I've been trying to get these off they're really on there they really are guys this is the only set I've had well not the only set but the set in a while that's taking me the longest to freaking take them off and I've like soaked them in acetone and yeah these shits are like really fucking on there I've had them for six weeks no. struggle yes I got them the day of Janae's birthday it's been six weeks tomorrow I thought you got those when I got back weeks. like right after I got back I got them on Janae's birthday that's how I remember I got them December 9th I thought you got them like right after I got back uh -uh. Summer night. Tomorrow will be six weeks that I had had these nails. So that's why I was like, they just need to come off. And then hopefully tomorrow or Monday I'll get them done again. Maybe. If my nails are super sensitive, I might let them just chill out for a sec. I told you, just let me get some pliers and rip them off. He's just trying to like rip them off. They're practically already off. You're gonna rip my nail off with it. No, that yes. other one is already pretty much off. Yeah, but this one You just won't let me take bad. it off. That's like really on there. I have my nail file. I'm gonna like be messing with them all fucking day. I forgot how much these roads suck. They really do, guys. The roads in El Paso are really bad, so... I tried to get a, a mount for the car that wouldn't shake as badly. Because the other one was like really bad. This one still like shakes. A <laughs> this one still shakes, but it's not nearly as bad as the other one I had, so it's a step up. I'll keep looking. But it's a step up. Oh. And then that was just legit a major ass jump. Dump. Bye bye! Dump. Heck natural. <laughs> so we casually stroll along. While this driving is exhausting. driving ever to coming home and just driving all the time yeah i should have eased myself into it but whatever I'd yeah, rather, two weeks before i'd rather be here driving than be stuck over there you had about two weeks off from it but there's another propo that's because the headquarters is like right there or the police station whatever same shit what it is hope of what's up can a nigga get in them go- Act natural. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's because what he's saying is he takes me to work in the morning and then he goes
goes back home, take the kids to school, and then he picks up our son because he gets a half day, and then he picks me up for lunch, and then he picks up our oldest daughter, and then he picks me up from work. And then all the back and forth with my bike too, taking all the parts over there? Yeah, his bike was getting fixed, so he was doing a lot of back and forth because his bike needed this part, so then he would go and take that part, and then they would like look at something else and they'd be like, oh, your bike needs this. So then he'd go and get that part, and then he'd have to go take that too. So he was doing a lot of back and forth, but he has his bike back, so. And she's pretty, with a brand new front end. Basically. She yeah. needs tires now. The whole front end was rebuilt. Brand new forks, brand new triple tree, brand new brakes. Now you just need tires. My tires are still pretty good though. Are they? Yeah, I just... Are you just being picky because you don't like the brand of them? No, they're good. you don't good, know the brand of them? They're good tires. I just want a new set of tires. I want the set that... Because the tires I have on there, it's not that they're a bad brand. I just... I want the tires that I know and I'm used to. So I just want, but I mean that can wait till like the beginning of riding season because I don't plan on doing much riding since it's still cold. So, like end of April, beginning of May, oil change, coolant flush, maybe a new chain. See, all this stuff for the bike is cheap, except for Ish. the tires. The hoses the, aren't expensive for the car. The oil is cheap. It's a motorcycle, it doesn't take very much oil. <laughs> the engine's like this big. My oil change was like 20 bucks though. My oil change is whatever the cost of the oil is and the filter. I do the labor myself. Well, see, I, I got the oil change done at work just because they were trying to see if there was coolant inside my oil because I had a leak. I had a coolant leak, but they were... <laughs> I had a coolant leak, so they were trying to make sure it wasn't like internal, so that's why they wanted to do the oil change. So that's why I got the oil change done at work. But generally, the oil changes get done at home. Where are we going again? Oh yeah. Roadhouse. I almost forgot how to get there. And I want a red beer. I just want some rolls. When I went out for date night, I got a drink, but then I got kind of paranoid to drink it because I had been on medication, well not medication, but like some medicine because I was sick. Yeah. I'm a lot better. You weren't even sick, you are just being a bitch. I was sick. Anyway, so I got all paranoid because I had just taken the pills like a couple hours But it before. said you could have alcohol. Is that a fucking See? Lamborghini? Yep, sure oh. was. Basically, it said you just could, don't have a shitload of alcohol with these pills. But you could have had that then, one drink. But then later it said avoid alcohol. So I was like, so which one is it? There's a glare, guys. Sorry. Um, so I was like, which one is it? Do you avoid alcohol or do you just like. I'm kind of short. So That's what visors are for. I know, but I'm short, so it usually doesn't help. Especially yeah, but not the, sun is still, the sun is still fairly high in the sky, though. Is it? Of course, it's not going to work when the sun is. In the middle of the windshield. I'm just saying. Anyways, basically, the pill said like you can have alcohol, and then at one point on the box it said avoid alcohol. But so that's what I was like. essentially, it meant you could have like a drink or two, just don't overdo it and go get fucked up taking those pills, <laughs> which people probably do anyways. Oh yeah. So you could have finished that one drink. You did finish it though, didn't you? I drank my cup. Or did I finish it? No, you didn't even finish it. You left it there. Oh, I finished mine. You finished yours. I thought you were going to finish the rest of mine, but you didn't. I drank like half. I don't know. It was really good though. This light is taking forever. Hurry up. I'm hungry. We haven't eaten much today. Especially me. He's like snacked on things, but he can, he has a bigger appetite than I do. Well, so I haven't also eaten just ten, I don't want to ruin my appetite. You're this big and I'm like this big. Punching your throat. <laughs>
because I was in the infantry. Who? <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I don't. I don't miss waking up for PT. But I miss all the other dumb stuff we would do. Which was nothing. We literally did nothing at work. Like being, being in the field sucked and being on deployment sucked. But like my, I, I liked my platoon. Like I had a good squad, so you don't have a stop sign, but whatever, guy, I'll go. All right. Uh, like we did a lot of dumb stuff, and we made it. I mean, we just made the best of it, and it was real fun. So that's what I miss. But like, yeah, the stupid, other pointless stuff we would do. Like when we would have no work to do, but they're keeping us there at the company for hours for no reason. That was dumb. Waking up early to go. I'm like, that was gonna drown you. I know. Waking up at two o'clock in the morning to be at a eleven o'clock in the morning formation because you have to go do this at you know four o'clock in the morning, and then go home and come back at six and do this, and then go home and come back in at nine and do this, and the, oh god, that stuff I don't miss. But there's still a lot of stuff that I do miss. Like, playing with the mortar systems was fun. Really, lady? You're just going to walk out and not pay attention to shit? I do that. Mm -hmm. She's pretty big. She might have run over a few cars. People are going to probably think I'm an asshole. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not allowed in public. I, I call it like I see it. There's nowhere to park. We'll see you guys in a little while. So our plan was to keep, you know, vlogging as we were heading out to Top Golf because it's only like 6:10. But we forget it gets super dark super early. So that's why there's all the lights on in the car. But even then, you can still barely see us. Especially so, me. <laughs> so we probably won't vlog much on our way to Top Golf, but we will when we're at Top Golf. So. Get it closest or it's over? I need my driver. Like, I was doing it from the second floor with these cheap ass drivers. <laughs>
it goes sloppy. Look at that hair. I just want to lick it. I love how it blows in the wind. My putting is A1. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. So short and compact. <laughs> Man, I'm feeling singers right now. I want to say something. <laughs> Should have said it. I want to say all your hype went into your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so today is Sunday, January 13th. It's my husband's birthday. We headed over to his parents' house, which is where they all are right now. Um, I just stepped away. Sorry, that part of the shoot's really bad. Um, I stepped away for a bit so I can head over to um, Party City and getting the rest of what I need you know for his little birthday surprise um, and yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna go do right now is get the rest of it and then go home real quick to set it all up so that way when we get home from his parents house it's already um, ready and yeah so I'll take you guys along with me Party city now find what I'm looking for. Uh, 
All right, so I got what I needed. I cannot see a thing with these balloons in the way. Okay, so I got the balloons, got what I needed. Now I just need to go home, set it all up, and then it'll be ready for when we get home. And I can't wait for him to see it. So I wanted his birthday to be pretty special. Um, I mean, as I would with any birthday, but this one especially just because he um, hasn't been home for his birthday in a few years now. So I wanted to make sure that this birthday was a, a really great birthday for him, being that it's his, you know, birthday back home in a while so that is what my goal was so hopefully it turns out to be a great one I know yesterday he had a really good time and I mean we all did so hopefully today is just as great so I'm gonna go ahead and head home and then I'll show you guys my little setup. So I'll see you guys there. So I put the surprise together and I'm so sad. I don't know if it was when I was putting the balloons in the car or I don't know, while we were in the car, I don't know. But the two didn't survive and it's like disinflated. I'm so sad. I mean, I know he won't care, but I'm still so sad. I'm such a fail. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. The sun is behind me. Obviously. But yeah, I'm so sad. Uh, fail. Epic fail. I get tape for my birthday? Bitch. <laughs> Not the tape. Hey there, a bunch of basketballs. Are these like those lantern thingies? Mm -hmm. Well, yes and no. Whoa, where yeah. did those come from? Yes? I don't know how to read. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. was to make one but with work and me being sick it just didn't happen make what, what like the candy thing yeah uh, i was gonna make it myself but let's make this like a little lantern you can try you can hang up in here I'm just put like a tea light in them or something yeah it's 28 look scary. guys the two popped i'm so sad uh, epic fail I'll try again next year
Time for drinks. Here. Drinks are ours. Drinks are ours. That's my cake boater. <laughs> right? tried to get through a movie. We were kind of tired. And then that'll be the end of his birthday weekend. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And like, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we'll film something else tomorrow. Maybe, mm, maybe. If we get a chance to. But if not, we'll be back soon. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.